I'm uh, not quite sure. I think I, it's like smoky clouds. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Let's focus on those smoky clouds. It's like fog, foggy. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm going to walk you through this. And as I ask you about the questions, I want you to just focus more and tell me more what you see. So these smoky clouds, what color are they? Uh, grayish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sort of grayish. And I think it came as a cloud just because there was like nothing coming to my mind but just those clouds, mm -hmm. uh, fogginess. Very good. So I'd like for you to focus on these clouds and tell me if they have any movement. Uh, no, not really. They're, they seem to be dense. Mm -hmm. Dense But clouds. sort of like, in, yeah, it's almost like cotton that dense that they are. That they're like in, around me, in front of me, around me. Mm -hmm. Now, as you look at these clouds, I'd like for you to just focus and just blow at these clouds. In your mind, you could just blow at them and tell me what happens as you blow at the clouds. What happens to the clouds? They're rolling from, they're rolling, I think, on each side, sort of like opening a, mm -hmm. a path. Beautiful. So let's keep following that path as you flow through this beautiful place, um, these clouds, just follow the motion of you blowing and the opening of the clouds. When I open, it seems like it's uh, like a uh, like a wormhole. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, like a, yeah, just like a wormhole. Mm -hmm. It seems to be sort of like a, it's like a tube, and I'm inside sort of like that tube, and that mm -hmm. tube seems to turn it's long mm -hmm. but it seems like it it like it it has turns it's sort of like those um water parks mm -hmm. where you get into these tubes of you know slides and then you go down those tubes mm -hmm. so what do you do next i can just stand there and look at it but i'm not sure if i mm -hmm. And I mean, like the first thing seems to me, it's like, yeah, just go in and jump in, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. All right. Well, I'm with you today. So I'd like for you to go ahead and allow yourself. Just go in. I have like, there's like a white light above me before getting mm -hmm. in. That's kind of like flashing me. Mm -hmm. Ah. There's a white, a big, bright white platinum white light mm -hmm. flashing like um, yeah flashing me uh, I've, I've not gone to that tunnel but that mm -hmm. light is flashing me All right so what are you called on doing what are you drawn to the light very good so I'd like for you to go ahead and tell me what happens as you're drawn to that light peace mm. Nice. All of a sudden, like the sensation that I was uh, risking going through the tunnel was kind of like if I, when you told me just focus on that light, just peace came over. Mm, very good. So, what happens if you were to go closer to that light? <sighs> what do you feel then? I'm not quite sure. Mm hmm. Well, tell me what you decide. I, I'm attracted to the tunnel, but the light flashed me so many times that I think it's better to stay away from that tunnel. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, so let's see what happens with that light. Focus all of your attention on that light. And tell me what happens as you focus your attention on it. Um, I'm not quite sure. It just feels like it's a pull in my forehead. Mm -hmm. So keep allowing it. Allow it to pull. 
and tell me what happens as it pulls. Um, Just flow with uh, it. What do you experience now? I am... I think like I'm in the light. Mm -hmm. Like I was pulled from my forehead into the light. Mm -hmm. And I'm like in the light. Nice. Can you tell me what it feels like to be in that light? So I'll tell you that it feels like it feels like I'm not that I've ever done it, but it feels like like I'm uh, skydiving, mm -hmm. but like suspended with my chest floating down, my limbs I think stretched out in this like white light. That's uh, but I don't. It's not like I feel any wind or anything. It's just mm -hmm. like suspended. So I'd like for you to just look around you and see if there's anyone else with you. Look around. Mm. Do you feel the presence of anyone, perhaps a guide? Just stretch out your mind and connect. Is there anything else besides you just suspended there? Uh, I'm as, as weird as it might seem, okay, but I'll tell you this is what I feel. Mm -hmm. That there's a there's like one, like another. It's just seeming really weird, like another. Uh, just so like a facial, ex facial, the face of some somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, sort of n not too close, maybe uh, 20 feet from me. Mm -hmm. I'm not really looking at me, but like sort of like like the way he's there for a reason mm -hmm. with like uh, older white hair and curly beard mm -hmm. I, I don't see their body just like the, the facial s structures mm -hmm. is it one or several He's one, and I feel, I feel like there's a few more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd, uh, like, I'd like for you to use your mind, and we've done this before already. Connect with this face. Okay. Connect mind to mind. Their words will be deposited as thoughts in your own mind. Who is this? Who are you? You will just know. It seems like uh, I get the sense like we have to know each other, but I also get the sense like we're sort of distant a little bit. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? Uh, Why are you distant from them? Closeness? Uh, uh, no, it's not closeness. Uh, respect. Mm -hmm. That's the word that came up. Respect. Are you feeling respect from this person or vice versa? I feel that I respect this person. Mm -hmm. And this person... But good respect in in a high-minded way, mm -hmm. N not in a, in a bad way. Respect in, in a high-minded, mm -hmm. high-valued way. Mm -hmm. Now, as you connect with this person, you'll be able to understand what role this person plays. What is this person in your life? What kind of role does he play? I can't even see the entire person, just like their mm -hmm. face and shoulders. Mm -hmm. are, uh, what is it, the role? It, it, it's, it seems to be the, the checkpoint, mm -hmm. the a place to where I can check uh, 
questions and answers. Mm -hmm. So let's ask this person if he will allow you to go with him to get that information. Will you, with all respect, will you allow me to get all this information? Mm -hmm. right, so the answer is that's why I'm here. That's good. That's good. So what I'd like to do is we're going to close the scene. I'm going to count from five back to one. When we get to number one, we'll be at the place with this person to give you the information. So begin now, five, going through time and space to find that information. Four, three, allow the images to come now. Two and one. Be there now. Where are you? Mm. What is this place? So, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Describe what you feel, what you'd know. Uh, well, I, um... Okay, so... Uh, like, uh, like a, like a dirt, like a very old Western, uh, outside saloon kind of place where you would put some horses mm -hmm. and carriage. Mm -hmm. Old place. Uh, dirt road or dirt, yeah, just a dirt front. An old western. Mm -hmm. Do you have a body there? Take a look. Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I do. Tell me more. I feel like, uh, I don't know why this feels like that, but I feel like I have like black uh, trousers. Uh, some at my, I feel like I'm dressed up like one of those guys in the old west, mm -hmm. uh, like a law, mm -hmm. law person with a long, uh, down to my boots, black coat. Mm -hmm. I have guns mm -hmm. and I have black, very worn black boots and my black pants are they don't know. They just look worn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, and I don't know why I'm standing outside of this place. Take a look at your face. What do you look like? Weathery. Mm -hmm. uh, How old do you feel there? Uh, like um, pretty much. In, I would say uh, early mid fifties. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. I have some sort of like a. It's like an old western, uh, like a hat, like I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see but what it is that you're doing in this place. I'm and watching, I'm keeping the law. Okay. Do you feel that you like what you do? Uh, I feel that it's, uh, it's my responsibility to make sure that people are fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to advance the scene to the next important scene in that lifetime to see what happens. Um. What do you experience? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm experiencing riding on a horse with my Gone, guns drawn, mm -hmm. or if I'm experiencing someone's being hung, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Someone's being hung in front of the public. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And what is your responsibility with your guns drawn? I have drawn? to make sure that that happened. Mm -hmm. That person was no good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you bring this 
person to justice? I did. Mm -hmm. I totally did. <clears throat> I deserved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hurt too many people. Mm -hmm. So as you're witnessing this, what do you feel? Uh, I feel sad for him in a way, but at the same time, I feel really happy that we we were eliminating, uh, you know, the... You know, people just doing bad things to people that don't deserve mm -hmm. bad things being done to them. Mm -hmm. It's wrecking havoc. Yes. So I'd like for you to look at this man yeah. that's being hanged. Look in his eyes. The yeah. eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes in the lifetime of Edgar? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I just saw um, mm him. -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. don't... All right. So now let's close that. No, now I know. Now you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we understand. Yeah, it's not a good understanding, but it is what mm -hmm. it is. All right. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene, and let's move to another important scene. God, that was bad. In that same lifetime, let's see what happens next. What happens next? Where are you? Um, so that that's 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 all done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's done. The town is fine. So how are you feeling now that that's taken care of? Complete. Mm -hmm. I'm complete. The town is complete. Mm -hmm. The town can flourish. Now that we've taken that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just notice what kind of life are you living? Are you alone? Do you have a family? I am. I am alone. I have someone that I. I had. I am alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a tough. Um, it's, it's a tough position to be taking care of the law that way mm -hmm. so it puts a lot of pressure on people that you love so I'm alone mm -hmm. but there there yeah there is someone that I really love mm -hmm. so let's find out a little bit more about this person that you love I'd like for you now to move forward to a time when you're with this person okay What's the kind of relationship that you have? We like each other very much. We're by the brook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, with a picnic basket. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? Um. Are you mm, older or younger? Younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I'm emotional. Mm-hmm. I want you to feel this soul next to you. I like her very much. Mm-hmm. Look in her eyes. In her eyes and see if you recognize her eyes. Her eyes will speak with, to you if you know her. I do know her. It's the same one. Mm -hmm. Why? Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's, it's the same one. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens with this one that you like so much. I have to let her go. Mm -hmm. I, I had a rough life and I didn't want to give her that. Mm -hmm. You made a choice. I did. And how did that affect your heart? Oh, pain. Mm -hmm. Pain, but it's what must have been done. I had to do it. Mm -hmm. and, You're yeah. very responsible, aren't you? I, I don't know. For me, I am. Mm -hmm. So you know that there are consequences to your every action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Go forward to the last day and tell me where you are. And just in a bed, in a, yeah, in a bed, mm -hmm. a very small bedroom, 
Mm-hmm. Um, all, it's like a wooden uh, shack mm-hmm. kind of place, and yeah, I'm, I'm just in, in my in my bed. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody with you that day? I, it felt like there was somebody there before, like a couple people. Mm-hmm. That, uh, You'll know who they are. Are they acquaintances or family? They seem more like a friendly people from from the town that I really appreciated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all. Are you feeling old or sick? No, just done. You're done. Very good. Yeah. So I'd like for you to take your last breath in that lifetime. Just take your last breath and just disconnect from that body completely. And as you disconnect, tell me what you see. Where do you go? Just like going really fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you could see that lifetime from a different perspective now. Every life. Yeah, but I'm still too emotional about it. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. Can, as you as you look at that life, you can review it, and you can understand what those people meant in your life. Yeah, a lot. Mm-hmm. So what what did you decide? What kind of decisions did you make? Well, I don't know. I mean, I decided what I thought was best. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you take in your heart from that life? Maybe I could have loved that person and we could have done something. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't know, I think that in, in, in terms of the, the bigger, uh, the bigger responsibility, I, I don't know why, but I thought it was just the village and the town. Mm-hmm. So you were kind of married to the job, was weren't you? Yeah, mm-hmm. that sucks. Mm-hmm. So now that you see that, I wasted all the time married to the job, and I could have enjoyed the friendships and the companionship. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's not learn, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. So now knowing that about that life, what advice? Do you have to give Edgar? Ah, don't repeat yourself. Don't copy paste yourself. Is he doing that? Uh, yes and no. He's torn again. Mm-hmm. What advice do you give him? Make a choice and make it now. And choose not the same. Mm-hmm. And he should know what that means. Ah, oh, and I told myself I would never take the he should know answer. Mm-hmm. All right, I know what the answer is, is choose not the job, choose companionship, friendships, people. Mm-hmm. I get it, okay. How will that help Edgar moving forward when he chooses love? Um, it's much more, uh, it's, a, it's a real life, it's the balanced life, it's the life where you're connected to not pieces of paper and hours and and green paper as money, you're connected to people and their emotions and their lives and what they go through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what you go through and you exchange and you talk and you help each other, you know? Mm-hmm. How will that help him? His soul? His evolution well, of his soul? I think that the point is that that is the experience. and. Uh, granted that you have to have a, you have to make a living, <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. So that's fine, but you cannot forego the other. Mm-hmm. So it will help you, Edgar, I'm speaking to you. Mm-hmm. It will help you because you have to balance that. Mm-hmm. You'll be so much greater at the other part as well as you are in your job. You'll be so much greater. If you lend yourself to being with others and and doing what what you were supposed to be doing, mm-hmm. connect. But he's so worried about his debt and his financial situation. Yeah, but so all, we all are. Mm-hmm. Everybody has their things. That will come to pass. It's an it's an. There's a word 
that he uses. I'll give it to him. Edgar, that's a nothing burger. Mm-hmm. That is a nothing burger. Is is this me talking? Mm-hmm. So, this nothing burger. So you're saying that his financial debt is not something that he needs to focus on? Not to worry about. He has to worry. Look, he gave. I gave you, Edgar, a little tingling the other day of what it's all about. Focus on the results. Focus on the end. Envision the end. Don't forget the mechanism. Forget how things work. It doesn't matter how they work. You gotta for just envision that end. Mm-hmm. Envision the end. What do you want? You want the debt gone? Forget about the debt. Don't think about it. Mm-hmm. Think about what it is that you want to do and start doing it. And if it's not that, then do the other thing. So I know that he has come here for a purpose. What is the reason why he came into this life? Did he come to do a rerun? No. No. What was his purpose? He's gone through. Edgar's got a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. A wealth of knowledge. He can tap into anything. Mm -hmm. Really? (laughs) Tell me. What is that wealth of knowledge going to be used for? (sighs) He's got a... He has to make his wealth of knowledge available easy to grasp, easy to understand, easy to replicate, easy to distribute. It's a wealth of knowledge that helps anyone that is looking to find out why am I here? Mm -hmm. How can I help? How can I help myself? So we know that everything that he has done in his life has been creative. He's done a lot of creative things. His music, his projects. How is he going to disseminate this information? Alba, you were very helpful. You were very helpful. He started the backbones of something that utilizing the technology that the internet the technology that you have available mm-hmm. he started to create the backbones of something but alba you were very helpful you said start with something small mm-hmm. start in person let the word let the word of those that can get the first impression will roll out and maybe that you maybe you will be able to connect that word going out with what you're building in the internet and that will take care of its own Mm -hmm. it will take care of itself but start small like you said all about edgar what about a small camp or a small uh, few hours of a day on a saturday and a sunday that the kids can do and can experience these things of wealth of knowledge that you have available to them that's completely different and what they're doing right now so they can see how much higher they can actually go mm-hmm. how much more they can actually be so he came here for those kids yeah mm-hmm. yeah and so who is helping him on these projects it's 12 why did i say that number 12 mm-hmm. 12 who are these 12 that are helping council him? 12 the council of 12 What is the council's job in his life? What does the council do for him? Edgar came to the council and asked for a big mission. Mm. He said he was prepared for a big mission and we gave him opportunities for big missions and he's taken them. Mm So the council gave him a big mission. The kids hold the new, the the kids hold the new wave. It's in the kids, and and if I'm saying this and it's wrong, it's uh, it's in their DNA. Mm -hmm. 
Your DNA is different. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's to function carefully. It's, it's to function very smoothly in this new wave. Mm -hmm. And they bring... They kids already talk so much and, and disseminate their, their experiences in such fantastic ways. So they need to begin to disseminate this new layer of what they already know. Is that true? Um, excuse me. Ego, please step aside. We already know that you're there. You can step aside. Just watch and learn. Listen. It's, uh, it's a wealth of knowledge. It's not instructional. It's just so they are able at the age that they are young, building and still DNA forming, know that there is this additional layer that is part of who they are, but it's what will give them, will, will allow them to uh, expand in their experience as they enter into the, the this new wave, this new uh, so-called quote unquote dimension, mm -hmm. um, and they are the ones that are, that will carry uh, that carry the the next generations. We're not as adults. Uh, most adults don't have the knowledge to help carry this new generation and following generations into the new um, uh, new dimensions that are already exist in this new earth but to understand that they're the best way and to be able to experience it uh, in what is was meant to be experienced the kids all are already sort of pre-templated mm -hmm. to to work with it edgar has a ton of wealth of material to be put out there so they can so that it's kind of like a library mm -hmm. you can just go tap into the internet but the internet does not that has this library the library alba i'm sorry alba you are connected into this library this knowledge mm -hmm. and so the mission is edgar fine like alba said small ways just to get it started and with the analogy that i gave you edgar with the uh the analogy that I gave Edgar with the um, what is that piece that he had in his hand the deodorant has a mechanism the other one has a wheel that turns this screw thing that pushes the deodorant out mm -hmm. the Edgar was confused why the deodorant was not coming out and he kept turning the wheel focusing just on the wheel while the deodorant was coming out and the 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 lesson I was teaching Edgar was focus on the end result. The deodorant was already coming out. There's no need to focus on the mechanism. There's no need to focus on and relating it back to the why. There's no need to focus on so much on how the DNA works and why the DNA is there. Just focus on the the end result, which is the kids are here. They already have it. They will be functioning smoothly in this new available dimension that we have made uh, for Earth to function so much more on the light side. Mm -hmm. And there is information that Edgar can make available for them to tap into, to open gates for them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Why yes. is it that he chose such a big mission with these children, but he didn't choose to have his own children? It was not a choice. Hmm. It just didn't happen yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if that's me speaking, Alba. Mm -hmm. So tell me why, why he's in these relationships now. He's having to deal with relationship issues that are very difficult. Is he learning from these relationships about how to handle uh, these children? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. He's, by not having his own children, he has had the opportunity at least to see interaction in one of the most difficult situations. Uh, but how prepared these children are mm 
mm-hmm. uh, to, to deal with what adults would consider chaos. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not chaos for children. It's just uh, garbled information, and they're trying to make sense of it. There's not really any emotions behind uh, what they're experiencing. They're just trying to make sense of it. They're trying to, can I get this? Do I get it? And where does it? Wh- where do I pocket this so that I can continue to work with it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, these other ideas that he had, that he put away, they were very cool, out-of-the-box ideas. Will he be implementing some of these ideas with these kids, or is this totally different? Some, some, some are there because they are just bones that are very intuitive and very creative, mm-hmm. and will allow the kids to connect with those bones, and the kids will develop those ideas. Mm-hmm. But it's it's like a, a Mm, it's like when you take kids to the playground mm-hmm. and you have these uh, jungle gyms mm-hmm. and the kids the kids invent their moves in those jungle gyms so Edgar created jungle gyms for the kids so they can then take it from there mm-hmm. uh, will he be working with these kids in the future as they grow up no he's to instruct them on how to con- for them to be the light and to be the the inspiration to the other kids that will come. Mm. So he's actually um, kind of getting the ball rolling for yes. future generations. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. So let's talk a little bit about experiences that, that he's had and what what is the reason why he's had some of these experiences. Has he ever connected with any beings from? different dimensions in order to get this information. Has. Mm-hmm. Has. Yes. Yeah. Where is he getting this information, this wealth of knowledge? Did uh, he come in with it? Mm, he has some in him. Mm. He came in with some in him, and the others were um, were delivered. Mm-hmm. Has he had any extraterrestrial experiences throughout his life? <sighs> yes. Yes. Would it be beneficial for him to understand these experiences? It's not important. It's not important. Okay. So it would this seem to be important for him is why has he been saved from death twice? Yeah, because he has a mission. Mm. And he chose that mission. He said he was going to complete it. He derailed for some time. Mm. And he knows it and he already made amends for that. Okay. He forgave himself. And we have forgiven him as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, uh, we committed with him. He committed with us. He was going to do the mission, and we know he can do the mission. It's not going to happen again. Okay. So he was sheltered. He was cushioned from this car crash, for example. Yes. And what about the, the gunman? Yeah, just also for him to know that don't... Uh, it's it, in the blink of an eye. We're not, we do not intervene. Mm-hmm. It's free will. We did not intervene. He caused that. He didn't, there was no reason for him to 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 begin conversations with he with those kinds of um, folks or or beings. Uh, he instigated it. No, it was a two way situation. He knows that they were doing something, and part of his heart was wanting to. Is someone being treated unfairly? He was going to act on it, mm-hmm. but at the same time, he had some words that were also uh, provoking, just from past lives. He that he knows he he's firm. He can be very firm. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, it's a force to reckon to be reckoned with. He was a lawman. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So he took on that persona at that moment of, absolutely mm, absolutely of trying to save uh trying others. to trying to find out just find out if someone needed assistance mm-hmm. uh, uh he could have taken care of it but we were just to show him it can happen just the other way as as in, in the blink of an eye and you have a mission so stick to the plan mm-hmm. now lately he's had some weird things happen to him he says he's he's smelling something, getting dizzy. Yeah, that was something that happened to him uh, a, 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 a long time ago, okay. about, I would say, 23 years ago. Okay. Um, what was that that happened to him? Did he go into a different 
realm? That was a different realm. Mm -hmm. And then again, in the same persona of, of uh, so, someone needed assistance, and okay. he was the closest at, at the time to provide that assistance. His name is Legion. That's how big he is, and that's why he asked, who is this? And he was told he's Legion, and not Legion as is known, Legion of, of many leagues of bad um, souls. No, Legion on, on, on the light side, mm -hmm. uh, m on the light side, massive, huge power. So when he thinks of himself now moving forward, can he take on that persona of Legion? Understanding that he came here with such a big mission. I know the ego is going to fight him on that. His current relationship is has been showing him a complete subtle side that he needs to totally understand. Mm -hmm. Legion is not about being... Uh, Legion is, um, it's, it's, the power of Legion is, it's, uh, mesmerizing is huge, mm -hmm. but Legion is not about power, mm -hmm. and that's what we are balancing with Edgar. Mm -hmm. Legion is not about balance, it's, it's not about power, it's about balance. Mm -hmm. His, uh... He does not take, he does not need to take the persona of power, being powerful. Mm -hmm. But he needs to continue with the persona of demonstrating what fairness mm -hmm. is about. And sometimes fairness means everybody's got free will. And that means you cannot manipulate others free will they have their own path mm -hmm. well he came here thinking that he could possibly change the outcome well he can mm -hmm. he can and i know that he wants to get into that other person's brain and he can but that's not allowed and he can make a trade mm -hmm. with the council if that's important to him or he could also like the tunnel that we showed him in the big in the beginning with before we showed him the light mm -hmm. take the risk and see if the tunnel is what he needs to take and let things roll the way that things need to roll mm -hmm. he has to reflect on the life of being the lawman and choosing the law and leaving the loved one you're gonna make me emotional again is that the point he has to reflect. He has been reflecting on what it is really to love someone. And he has been reflecting a lot on what it means to pure, unconditional love. No strings attached. No unconditional means exactly that. No conditions. So if he wants to trade with the council and do that, we will do it for him. If he doesn't want to trade with the council and stick with his mission, Edgar, you heard the word, stick with your mission, right? Okay, that's just a hint. You didn't want, you didn't want breadcrumbs, so we're giving you uh, the path. Stick with the mission. That's, that's enough. Mm -hmm. Good. So he should stay out of people's heads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good. Can you tell me a little bit about his connection with that boulder that he had? He is a boulder. Mm. That's why he looked up what the bedrock was made 450 million years ago. And while he was driving to meet you, Alba, mm -hmm. he's counting. He was counting to get the sense of millions of years. And he counted 10,000 years, like we're in the year 2000, get this. Mm -hmm. We're in the year 2002, that seems like a lot. Imagine 10,000, mm -hmm. I multiply that by 10, 100,000, multiply that by 10, that's only 1 million. Mm -hmm. Now try to go to 10 million, so it's a long, so the whole point was, you're solid, 
You have a lot already in you. And yes, you stand, and yes, you can move things. But again, we tell you, it's not about power. It's really not about power. It's your connection, nature, the softness. And that's what you're learning with this connection, the softness. Now, I know he's connecting also through meditation. He's trying to be more um, disciplined. Uh, yeah. With this me- meditation, no, he's looking for is his question is actually is he meditating? He doesn't believe he's meditating. He doesn't believe he's connecting. Mm-hmm. First of all, and we can talk about these other folks that he's calling on, and mm-hmm. if they're there or not. But he talks a lot. Mm-hmm. He talks a lot in his meditation, and he questions, "Well, was that me just talking?" No, that you are. You are. You are connecting. So, if for you, Edgar, talking. Is the way that you feel you need to connect, then talk. If you think that is silence, then silence. If you have, as you, as you have in the past, connected through the sounds of just strings of guitars or piano, if that's how you connect, then connect. So there's not one way to connect. And he calls on his brother Jesus because he feels that he was his brother and that could have been a possibility. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, so if you want to connect in in any way that you can connect, it's valid. There's not one way to connect. The idea is that you quiet your mind. And once you quiet your mind, quiet your thoughts, quiet your distracting energies. Remove everything, let go of everything so that we can appear, so that we can connect, so we can have dialogue. That's all we're looking for. Mm-hmm. So do you think that after this, he'll stop saying, am I making all this up? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that crystal that he took from mm-hmm. the... The rock? From that piece of rock that mm-hmm. he brought in his briefcase that he brought from the sanctuary. Mm-hmm. It is a crystal, Edgar. It may have impurities in it. It doesn't matter. It's a crystal. And yes, you are speaking to the crystal. So don't question yourself. You know that language? And when you need to, Edgar, you connect, you have connected center sun through the crystal, through you to Gaia, Earth. And Earth has sent beautiful vibes back to you through that crystal, back to center sun. And when you point that crystal off center sun straight up, then you're connecting to cancel. Use that crystal, it's fine. Wonderful. And what is this language that he's speaking? Just showing Edgar that he can speak the language, that's all. Okay. And it's fine. And I'm saying, we love you, you love us, and don't ask... Okay, then ask questions that you already know answers to. Ask us, like, the, there's, ask us better questions, Edgar. Mm-hmm. Is he just asking things that his mind already knows? Is he afraid to go deeper? He has been really afraid to go deeper. And he's been doing something right now that works well for him mm-hmm. in the tapping only. And he wants to open his third eye, and Alba Yishu will help him with that. Mm-hmm. But he taps his third eye, and he says two there's two small words that are valuable to him. Fear not, worry not. Mm-hmm. Fear not, worry not. And the two times that we gave him a sense through the crystal of vibes in his body, he did something that was very valuable. He said, Edgar, you've done this before. You know this before. Do not be afraid. Stay with it. Mm-hmm. And he did. So that's how it is. Good. Would you tell me what that intense heat that he felt not too long ago was yeah, all about? That, that was us uh, at an oppor- an opportune time Mm -hmm. showing up in the middle of work while uh, his boss was there asking him a question we made uh, an inopportune choice to let him know we're there with him it was nothing more than telling him yes it's us you're not speaking into a vacuum but we chose an inopportune time and we could not continue our dialogue Mm -hmm. did he have something happen to his eye yeah we put it there what was the reason you put that floater there uh, we put that floor there so that he would go out into the sun and get some sun rays and say, Sun, you are sending vibes through the crystal. Mm-hmm. Crystal, you're sending vibes through me. 
me and send him vibes down to earth to make him point his eye there and he knows he can remove it and he can when he wants to but he we needed him to begin to put that crystal into his forehead into the sun and connect and that's why we thought it would be a good way to say hey look made you look huh mm. but you see the problem is when we are connecting with our divine forces our divine friends we don't know their language we don't know what they're trying to tell us why things happen to us for example why the hip issue why did he get his hip replaced why did that have to happen was that a message the hip was not a message mm. the hip was not a message he was he put his heart because he wanted to protect okay yeah uh, it, it was it was not a message okay and that's reason being why it was so easy for him to recover and go to the surgery the next day of the surgery he was walking a mile and a half mm -hmm. with a cane and his doctor told him this is unbelievable you're like a poster child and his recovery has been insane so it's only because it was it that that didn't have to happen but it mm -hmm. happened and we're good and he's good good so that was again taking the persona again of the of the lawman the protector yeah mm -hmm. wonderful can you tell me a little bit about why he snores what's going on so he had a question about snoring I, I, he snores so tiny mm. it's okay but because he knows he snores and uh, in relationships can be an issue mm -hmm. and he knows other people that snore and cause relation difficulty in relationships with other people mm -hmm. he thought why not ask a question of like can we help some people not snore that was all mm. so it has nothing to do with him not with him okay. no not with him okay but he does have issues with his relationships yeah mm -hmm. relationship Mm -hmm. That single one. Yes. I'm not sure. <sighs> I'll tell you something. So, I think I need to go to the bathroom, but I don't want to let go of telling you what I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, oh, wow. I got dizzy. And I don't know if I'm getting dizzy because I should not speak. Hang on. Or if I'm getting dizzy because I'm getting more. What I'm going to do <sighs> is I'm going to tap your shoulder. When I do, okay. you'll be able to open your eyes, go to the bathroom. When you come back, you'll go even deeper, feeling more relaxed, and be able to deal with all of these things that are coming up. Yeah. <sighs> so let's talk about relationships. Yeah, I left off. That's complicated. Mm -hmm. That's complex because it. She is her mm -hmm. from that past time, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that's unfortunate because it's, it's at the same time uh, she is working out a number of uh, things, uh, and you happen to be in the middle. Uh, it's just happened this lifetime, sorry. Uh, you both chose it at the same time, that's why you were born on the same day. Uh, yeah, they're giving each other exactly what they, what they were asking. Mm -hmm. And in that, in that, uh, discongruent, or incongruence mm -hmm. between the two of them missing each other, Edgar, is trying to f fit in and uh, f uh, trying to uh, trying to translate. He's trying to translate her to him, him to her, mm -hmm. the boy to her, uh, mother to to the boy. And at the same time, Edgar is learning that that difficulty is everywhere, mm -hmm. especially because this kid's as he is that boy they they are they've come 
built with a completely there's a different engine in those kids mm -hmm. there's a different engine edgar you you can translate it you you can but they can't understand it and it's it's causing oh unfortunately it's causing um see the parents that are having these kids they <laughs> the parents don't have uh they don't have it they didn't come with a translator mm -hmm. And the kids are running at a different with a different engine, and and there's love in between, but things are missing out, and they're misconstruing the those differences as hate, um, uh, bad interactions, and things that that are, were not supposed to be done, and, and not all of it is that. Hmm. <laughs> Now I know that some people are coming here with a mission to change the education system. Is he going to be a part of? He's helping? gonna he's gonna put his thumb right into it. Mm -hmm. He's gonna put his, he's gonna poke their eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he prepared for that? No, Edgar. That's why. Uh, only because he, Edgar, can help our help him understand that the audience he's speaking to is different they're speaking to different languages so he wants to poke the eye but he needs to have the uh the kind of language that could be a little easier understood mm -hmm. that's all it doesn't it doesn't have to be all understood but some of it so that the adults that are running the the things that are being taught can begin to question themselves This is what we should be teaching. Maybe he has something in what he's saying to us that we should be looking into. So he's going to stir the pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will he be getting reinforcements from the spiritual realm? So the point of the thing that Edgar is doing with with that stuff that he's doing in the internet that mm -hmm. for the kids, that in part is where some of the connection when he sits down to put that together most of the stuff is not going to come for him he's going to set it up as a as a kind of like a a broadcasting uh, network where like a channel of television where a bunch of different uh shows mm -hmm. are are shown so he's going to build that that network And he's going to, with the help from others, up, down, left, and right, and in every direction, mm -hmm. are going to begin to uh, inquire how can we display our show through that network, through that channel. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Yes. So I know that he has the council that sent him on this mission. Yeah. Does the council actively help him in this lifetime? Or do they sit back? They have sat back. Mm -hmm. Only because that's what... Uh, you know, when someone says, wait, 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 let me do it, let me do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's where he's at. And uh, the, <laughs> if you see it from a funny perspective, the council, 12 members, tapping their foot, t -t -t waiting like, all right, last time, okay, mm -hmm. kiddo? Mm -hmm. If he were to ask now for the council to assist him, would they be willing? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 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 So is he ready now to ask for that council? Yes. Would you be willing to take him now to that council so he can actually be in their presence? Sure. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. And if you would take him, I'm going to count from five to one as he goes deeper and deeper into that council so he can see it. So take a deep breath in now, five, going through time and space to visit the council. Four, allow your breath now to propel you forward into that realm. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Hmm. All right. So why are, is he standing there? Mm -hmm. My guide is just standing there. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're seeing. 
Hmm. What's happening? All right, so fine. Tell me what's happening. Yeah, we just had like a quick too fast for words mini conversation and mm -hmm. yeah, let me slow that down. Cuz it doesn't I'm like shrugging my shoulders like, yeah, okay, so I'm doing it. Mhm. Mm so let's <sighs> Um, Let's go backwards again, because there is no such thing as time. And I'd like for you to go ahead and slow it down and connect with your guide and tell me what happens, what's the interaction. Okay. All right. So the guide just stood aside, stands there to my left behind me. Mm -hmm. I'm still standing and I'm looking at it. There's, it's funny because it looks like a giant table. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and I have no idea why they dress like that. How are they dressed? It's funny, but it doesn't make any sense. It's like a, it's like a, like, like giants sitting down side by side in the table, all of them looking in just one direction. Like, ah, that's funny. Like the, like the photo of the, the last, what is that called? The last meal? Jesus, mm -hmm. you tell me. What is it? The last supper. It's last supper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So they're all looking. You guys are all looking at me. Great. And it's it's all men but one mm -hmm. is a woman. And they seem... The men have like a... Well, from what I, from where I'm standing, and they're huge. That's why it looks big. But it's not that I'm that close to them, really. Mm -hmm. So they have like a a skirt. Mm -hmm. They're all wearing sort of like a skirt, or like a robe. Some are skirts because I can see. It's funny. It looks like a Roman sandals that kind of like wrapped up around your mm -hmm. legs. Uh, except that the woman on this at the end of the t oh, she's sitting on the it would be my my right. Mm -hmm. So them looking at me is their left. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's wearing like a white robe. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's all in white. And these guys uh, have all kinds of, I don't know, uh, f faces, hair. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at me, and I'm looking at them. And my first reaction is sorry. Mm -hmm. My first reaction is I was selfish. I wanted to do it all by myself. And they took that and said, we knew that. We already knew that. Mm -hmm. So we were prepared and you were going to come here. And here you are. And you're standing there sorry because we knew you were going to come here and say you were sorry. So there looks kind of like a an old movie for them because they already saw this. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, so finally, we're not going to give it to you. You got to ask. So I'm standing here in front of them and not even asking yet, because I still think that I can do it by myself. Ah, how stubborn. How stubborn, man. Okay. Hmm. All right, so I'll, I'll ask her, because she seems to be more in tune with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They all are, but she seems to be to be the one that I ask. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm here. I'm going to, I'm going to, for respect that you're due, in my knees I'm asking you, I'm, I'm there now, and I'm trying, and I'm going left and right, not knowing anything, and just winging it, in my words, winging it. Um, I understand that I took a mission that I was supposed to do certain things and I didn't do that. Okay. I already went through that. So I'm asking. As Tabash said, don't ask for the answer. Ask for more power to understand. So I'm asking you. And as you did before, you're not giving me breadcrumbs anymore. You gave me a little line there so that I have to reflect on that. But give me, I'm asking and I'm, and I'm, I'm asking firmly because it is my right to ask you to give me more power to understand more downloads, to understand 
more knowledge that comes to me and to be able to to process that process it and put it you told me earlier you want massive that well massive action equals massive that other thing that you're asking massive action massive action so if we're my question is if i'm asking you i cannot do massive action if i can't process it fast so give me more power to understand more give me more power to get more downloads and like i had said to alba don't fry my brain okay we have limits but don't don't leave me down there in the, in the gutter okay bring me up take me to the ceiling with the knowledge bring it to me that's why i asked for this mission and that's why you gave it to me and i'm asking you because you seem to be a little more subtle nicer not that these all guys here are not nice they're all nice is that okay all right and is there anything else that you want to tell me that i don't have to wait okay i think if you don't have anything else to tell me i think i have something to do okay this could be all so crazy if this is true so i'd like for you to ask the council how can you connect with them easily again <laughs> this went so fast i asked they answered this is what they said i'm going to slow it down so that i, I can totally re restudy this you ask we answer you ask we answer you you know this and i came here telling myself i'm not going to take you know this as a cop out answer so you gave me the answer right now you said then damn it ask ask but you have to set yourself up for the intention of asking which means clear your thoughts clear your mind clear all distracting energies and then intend and ask before you connect with us ask raise my vibration so that i can connect to pure unconditional love source and after you do that then we can have a dialogue okay i'm good with that i am i will very good i don't know so let's disconnect from the council now allow yourself to disconnect from the council so weird shoes they wear mm -hmm. they can wear anything they want mm -hmm. that was a really nice female person mm -hmm. does she have a name And it's I don't think I can pronounce it. It's, it sounds like it's a liar. I don't think I can pronounce it. Liar. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Liar. Liar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. Would you like to ask her now to help you be a person, be a personal guide to you? Mm, no. no. Be, oh, oh, and I'll tell you why. And I'm looking at her still. I'm feeling her. Mm -hmm. Um she's saying edgar this, this this is you this is you ask you can ask i can ask anybody else in the council but she said this is for you mm -hmm. so I, i will ask i can yeah i would definitely will ask someone else in the count anyone in the council can be anyone mm -hmm. i don't have to choose i mean it is a massive mission and i said yeah, i volunteer i didn't even say yes i i asked for it mm -hmm. i persuaded you guys i pleaded my case for it and you said yes i'm I am the guy to do it. Mm -hmm. But 
and my guide is great and my angels are great wonderful do they have a message for you your personal guides and angels <sighs> my personal guide is just telling me right now he's saying look so you open the gate all right so we're going to be talking so don't think that you're talking to yourself don't think that you're talking in a vacuum don't think that you're dreaming in a vacuum you open the gate you wanted your third eye to open it's not open but you wanted more connection and i'm not going to fry your brain i'm going to hear you all the time and i'm going to talk to you all the time and we're going to have massive action that's what you wanted that's what that's what we're going to do my angels just tell me that, hey, so when I meditate and I open that sphere, and it's an invite that I make, and yeah, Jesus had a stepbrother. Well, had a brother? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I always call him my brother Jesus. Uh, he said that I was introduced to Alba, your friend Metatron, in, in, in the sphere. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, it's, it's very fr good friends with all of us and Alba. He's not in, in your, he's not connected with you. He just knows that you're here and he's supportive. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Would Jesus be willing to show you the life of where you were his brother? Yeah. All right. So allow yourself now. Mm. Why don't you deep. tap me in the shoulder? Go deep within now. Is oh, that you? No, follow him. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's dirt. There's like a... Uh, why do we live there? Um, that really doesn't make any sense. I, the only thing that I can think of almost, Alba, is like, if I picture this, like... I don't even want to say the word because it would be dis disparaging, but in my mind I'll tell you, I'll just describe it. It's like a ceramic-based, uh, sort of roundish kind of homey with flat thatch roof. and Yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of like what it looks like, and it's like a... Mm, we're there, why are we there? This is a very simple... Yeah. Like a hut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like me, it's kind of like a ceramic base or mud base. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mud. Yeah. Made with mud. Hardened, hardened mud. Mm -hmm. That's what we use. What we use. Mm -hmm. Okay. So take a look and see who's living with you in your relationship. There's a man, there's a woman, there's, he is, there's brother Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we're like older now. We're, what are you? It's like it's, Early 20s. Who's older, you or him? I am. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Yes, I am. 23, you're 21? Mm -hmm. How could that be? Ask him. How could that be? Whose son are you? No, he says it's the other way around. He says I'm younger, I came after him. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? You always wanted to be oldest. Oh, okay. We had a sibling. We did. Are you kidding me? So I'd like for him to show you. Show you all the siblings. Show me. Show me. You move to the side. Show me all the siblings. He's... He's saying, even in my name, Joseph. I'm not Joseph. So I don't have any more siblings. He's just telling me it's just you, your mother, and your father. Mm -hmm. Is that? Is that what it is? Really? And then who are you? You're Jesus. Okay. So let's find out what kind of relationship you both have. Did you feel it? 
I love him. I really love him. He's full of peace. We don't, we're not really, uh, we don't, we're not really, he's doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. He's doing his own thing. He's not even home. He's not even with us. He's understandably so because he's doing his own thing. The only one that is really with him and goes seek him is mom, the mo mom, the mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what am I? What I? What do I do? Chores. So. But when he comes home and he he eats with us. Are you eating with us? He I, he sits there and eats with us and he tells us about. He's telling me why. What are you? He's really mad about how it is. Mm -hmm. And how people don't understand. And I believe him. I, I believe everything he says. I do. I tell him. Mom tells him too. Mm -hmm. And he tells us, that he, at least he, from what I understand, he tells me, he tells us he loves us very much. He loves us very much and he has something that he needs to do and that it will be done the way that, he, that it needs to be done. And that we have no part in it. And we have no say in how it will be done. But that he loves me and he loves mom. He loves Joseph, dad, Joseph. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to just encapsulate that moment and see what it is that you're thinking or feeling. What has brought you to the point where you want to do this mission also? Has Jesus had any influence on you? We're all to together. Mm -hmm. We're all together. He did a big mission. Mm -hmm. He did the number one mission. Yes. Um, Did this life influence you to go to the council? I, I think I have like first-hand knowledge from all the, all, all the, all that came out of of him. Mm -hmm. And with that knowledge, I was able to build on what I know. Mm -hmm. And with that, I am able to be in a position to volunteer. Mm -hmm. To, to offer and share that that layer of 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 knowledge that layer of knowledge mm -hmm. for those uh, young souls that might want to tap in what the next the next level the next what can help them get everybody onto the next level or mm -hmm. so is it that this soul is bringing the Christ consciousness or waking it up in these children. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's where the connection is? Yes. It's the only connection. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yes. It's meant to be that way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very good. Is there anything else that he needs to know from that life that would help him? so much you will never understand the mother love <sighs> I had nothing to do with you she didn't love you less your mom loves you now and that's all yeah and I know that mm -hmm. I totally know that <clears throat> very good so now I'd like to bring him back into this life and let's find out a little bit of why what he needs to know about his father's illness. What can he de do to assist his father? <clears throat> oh. So, oh. Dad, 
what a powerful soul. What a powerful soul. You know, hindsight for him, not 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 for me or for anyone in, in his own personal journey. He unfortunately didn't have an opportunity or, or the upbringing that allowed him to. And that's odd because he's married to such a spiritual woman, to be on his own, connected spiritually. That as as much as he, in his plain ego mind, uh, would want to be. Other than that, what a phenomenal uh, soul! Very very awesome soul. Right now he's he's old, and he's. <sighs> In his own mind, he's trying to make sense of it, and it's unfortunate that we don't know. He's asking so many questions in his mind. He's asking so many questions, and he can't he can't connect the dots. That's what, that's where his old age brain is at the moment. I can connect with him now and tell him if you give me just a moment mm -hmm. that I love him and that mom loves him and that my sisters love him very very much. I want to connect with him in just a moment. All right. And he'll know. <sighs> Dad. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> you recognize me now, right? It's okay. It's, hey, in here, in here we're all the same. We're all the same. I see you, you see me, you see everybody. You see your mom and dad. That's okay. Um, just want to just briefly, and I know that um, you're doing the best you can. Uh, you are. You're totally doing the best you can. I just want you to know that from our end, um, um, on our end, I don't have to explain to you. From our end, uh, we love you. We totally love you, and we on our end are trying to understand how how to best work with the circumstance. But we love you. And we know that you're strong, and we know that you you're going to be around us uh, a number of years, so that's great. Uh, we'll continue to help you. We'll continue to support you, and at least in these few years, in any way that we can, Mom's going to give you some some spiritual support uh, uh, that you didn't have. That spiritual um, upbringing doesn't matter. Uh, They love you. you have angels with you. Your guides are with you. They still love you. So it didn't matter that you didn't get that opportunity. You you looked for it. It just didn't happen for you. That's okay. We love you, and I love you, and I'll say goodbye now. Okay, love you, Dad. Hmm. All right, Sim. Okay. All right. I'm good. Disconnect from Dad now. Yeah, I am. Disconnect. And hmm. now that we understand that. When a body gets older, it starts to break down, and the endings, nerve endings, and information is not working. But I'd like to focus now on Edgar's body. Mm. How is his body doing? Mm. Is he equipped to do his mission? He's totally equipped to do his mission. His his stamina is outstanding, outstanding. It's, if if you would allow the guide to do a little bit of a deeper mm -hmm. dive, there there are a little a little couple of things. He's had some some weak times and a couple of um, you know not their fault, but a couple of joiners have joined in the party. Mm -hmm. You may say. All right. You know. So let's do a scan of this body. Ah. Uh, and see what's happening there. Hmm. So, um, not quite sure, but I, I'm getting the sense that somewhere between, really close to his like solar plexus, mm -hmm. um, I, around, yeah, no, it's 
possibly in the age when he had that experience where he swore he would never um, have any more emotions. Mm -hmm. I think um, that and another time when and when when his low times and the crying came, some there's something that close to his solar plexus and heart. Mm -hmm. Is this, area. Is this thing that's in there something that he created? Let's find out. Did he create something in that area? Um, so, m my, my tongue wants to say no. I think my ego wants to say yes. I don't, I don't know which, which one it is. So let's take a look at that area. I want you to hone in on that area and tell me, what does it look like in that solar plexus area? What color is it? What uh, shape? What texture? I'll tell you that it's like left side of my, um, if I'm, if I am the person looking at my chest, it's on the left side under my, what would be my breast. Mm -hmm. Um, not sure why, and it, it's very resembling to that cloud that I saw when I started to get into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's go deep into that. I'd like for you to go ahead and become very, very tiny. And let's go into that area and see what it is that's in there. I know what it is. It's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What has he stored in that area? Um, things that have been told at him. Mm-hmm by um, authority figures, mm -hmm. not good things, not building things, not uplifting things, quite the opposite. And, oh wow, really? You would do that to a kid? God, God have mercy on you. <sighs> yeah, it's me. Mm -hmm. I have lots of pain in there. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't want any more pain. Uh-huh. So now that we understand that he put all of those pains into that solar plexus area so that he wouldn't have to experience any more emotions, I know that in his mission, he's going to need those emotions to be able to connect with those other children. Is he ready to forgive himself for holding on to this pain for so many years? Is he ready to release this now? He's ready. Mm -hmm. He's it's he's ready or not. Here we go. It's the, right. it's the thing, you know. All right. So I'm going to put my hand over your heart, and I want you to bring up all of that pain, all of those ugly things that have been told to you, all of those terrible things that have made you want to just shut them down and not feel. Put them all out. There's no need to hold on to all of this any longer. All of this pain is like poison. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. Pull it all out. All of this. It's the universe for healing and now uh, take a look at that space it's so wide so expansive what do you want to put in that space uh, compassion let's put lots uh, of compassion lots, put lots, lots of compassion for everyone That's and it. for everyone that i've hurt in turn because i just did not know mm -hmm. put it all in there mm. compassion more compassion yeah fill it up fill it up all the way as you mm. breathe fill that space with compassion and fill your mind too. Let's tap your mind and hold that in there. Oh, what else would you like wow, to put in that love, space? Love, peace, joy, happiness. Let's put all that in. Lots of love. Peace, lots of harmony. Peace, harmony. Joy. Joy. Feel it just happiness, flow. Happiness, laughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lightness. Mm -hmm. Have it flood in. 
overflowing. Oh. Like a cup overflowing. Oh, my God. And let's seal that in. Oof. And as you breathe, just breathe it through your body. And how does that feel now? Oof. Is Edgar now ready to fulfill his mission? Absolutely. Very. Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's going to be a tough one. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, you would not take any lesser than that. Mm -hmm. Only the strongest. Yeah. We'll do that. Very good. So I know that... My brother Jesus wants to thank you. Mm. It says that only you, or a person like you, would know to connect that to... Uh, to his tiny self and all the stuff that was put in there. He wants to thank you. He mm -hmm. says thank you. He said, Alba, you're amazing. My pleasure. That's what he says. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much for acknowledging that. And I will always try to be in the best of service. The you divine. are already in the best of service. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And now I'd like to know, what is the reason why Edgar came all the way here? He, he needed mean? to clarify the two things. The main one you just did. Uh, there was no way that he was going to complete the mission. Uh, with uh, he, um, with purpose and with intention, and rightfully so, mm -hmm. in order for him to be able to do what he was able to do through his younger years up to now, uh, he needed to curtail the amount of emotion that he would let in because uh, that was not the mission. Uh, it's okay that he does that and he helps and that's what he does but um for the mission continuation actually of the mission that uh his brother jesus started mm -hmm. thank you bro <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> started um he needs an empty can because uh it's uh, uh, there are a lot of there's there's uh just uh you're going to poke the eye of, of education. You're going to rattle that system. You're going to have parents that are not going to understand what their kids really want or want to do. And you're that layer of knowledge for them to, to begin to articulate that dialogue. Plus the other things that you're, that Alba actually clarified for you. So that's number two. Number one was to, to uh, empty the can, to cleanse it, to put in the, the good, um, vibes of, uh, encouragement and, and, and love in there. And number two was for the clarity of what this mission really is because he's going to connect it to, and, and you're, you, that bucket will be filled again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He needed to be clear. Good. And now that he is clear, will he be able to love the way he should be loving without any hesitation? Absolutely. He has already been loving at maximum speed, but he did not know the subtle side of love, and it's it's an area that's no that's new mm -hmm. to not new to him in knowledge, but new to him in experience, mm -hmm. and that's that's what's uh, that's what will come not only from the person that we know was his person way back then, yeah. but from her child. That's what he will. That's how he will know. Very good. Is there anything else that I didn't ask that you would like to tell him at this time? Or are we complete? Um, we are. Very good. We are, we are complete. Very good. Wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Mm hmm. Welcome back. Wow. <laughs> I'm probably like your 350th wow this is insane insane amazing amazing uh, incomprehensible unless you did it incomprehensible mm -hmm. just insane wow how um, long do you think this journey was how did it feel to you was it quick sometimes it felt quick sometimes it felt long I was what would you I'm gauge? just gonna guess like an hour and forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. About that, right? Yeah. Is it because you have seen all my other videos? No. <laughs> That's how much it is. Yeah. It really? Forty-two right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You did great, my dear. You think? Mm, I know. You were having a a, a battle with your ego there. <laughs> what insanity! Thank you for. Taking that stuff out. Mm -hmm. 
That was quite heavy, wasn't it? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I cannot tell you. That's how the session started with you going through all that stuff. You went directly into that. Oh, my Lord. Mm. You notice that? <sighs> no. That's how you started the session. You went into those clouds. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So you were kind of finding, trying to find your way through that. Wow. In intense. You have quite a mission. It's insane. Mm -hmm. It really is insane. And I, I, I can... Jo join the rest of us who have uh, missions. How do, so, <laughs> tell me something. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. How... If you have 400 people that or more that have come through and they have these, how do we connect ourselves to mm -hmm. to do something that... You just ask. That's right. You're supposed to ask. That's right. Here's, ask here, that guy and it will be... Right. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to share this? You want to keep it personal? Uh, if, uh, no, I really want to Edgar. share Edgar. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Are we doing it? Yeah. We're doing this. Wow. What that a was, session. That was amazing, Alba. It's Ooh. just uh, outstanding, uh, unbelievable. Uh, there's it's unless you are in it <laughs> it's kind of like a like one of those rides that I, that I brought up as a reference if you if you haven't done the ride you won't know but i have to tell you that yeah. for those that do the ride it's indescribable it's unforgettable it's just amazing it's wow. really amazing and the the funny thing well, you were pretty deep i went yeah. pretty deep yeah so I won't know until I... No, uh, no, it's not... Deep doesn't mean that you're going to forget or anything or it feels like you're sleeping. I mean, every time I would do anything on you, you were there. I mean, you were... I, uh, for those that are out of there, I have to tell you, I've never been hypnotized. And I didn't come here with like questions that will I be hypnotized. I just went with the flow. But but it does happen. When you go, you go. You go, you <laughs> yeah. go, you go. And, yeah. and it's a... It's a, uh, I can, I can only tell you this, a, a, a strange feeling in terms of, um, the, the sentences that flow out, the wording that flows out. Yeah. <sighs> Amazing. I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> and you were fighting with your ego, like step aside. I, and that, <laughs> What was your ego telling you? A completely different story. It was a, it was such the opposite story and sort like of trying to um, confuse you. Uh, tr trying, it's kind of like when you're trying to tell a story and you have someone interjecting to tell the story and interjecting, and you have to say, "Let me finish the story." That that's that's the sensation. But the thing is that even though it's a sensation, I could hear and my I could hear the words that my ego was telling me, and I knew they were like, "That's that's that's not the story. That is not the story." Yeah, uh, and I have to tell Maybe. it. It's like sit down, you know. <laughs> And before we do the actual hypnosis session, we practice so that you can understand what that ego sounds like and you can yeah. do that. And, and in the practicing, um, uh, there are little exercises that, that take you through uh, things that had no visual, visualizations and, yes. um, and you, are, you, you are amazed. It's the things that you would tell yourself in, uh, just on a plain, you know, clear day. That's impossible. It is possible. <laughs> it is truly really so possible. So, do you recommend recommend this for other people? I totally. I, I mean, for those people that walk up, <clears throat> walk with a question mark over your head, you know, what am I supposed to do? What am I doing? Is this right? You have to. You have to do mm -hmm. do this with Alba. It, it's, it's a very different experience. She connects the dots. She asks the right questions. And we uh, talked quite a bit beforehand. Yeah, I, I, yeah. We did a lot of connecting of the dots before yeah, the actual it, hypnosis. It, it, it's, it's amazing. It's uh, like uh, a lot of the stuff that I can recall saying, it was not even in my plan of speaking. So mm -hmm. Alba has the, the wherewithal to to ask the right questions to let your whatever it is that you came here to do do it's fantastic thank you you are just amazing thank you so mm. how far did you travel oh i came from connecticut mm. yeah and i have to tell you guys for everyone that are there male and female um if when alba sends out her newsletter that comes out once a month um and when she tells you be prepared that's true but i'm going to take you to a different level you have to be prepared so that when the calendar comes up you can't 
begin to think, hmm, should I take the nine or it's gone? <laughs> That's how fast. So when you see the calendar, put your finger on it. And lesson number two, have your, your payment method ready because once you hit that, it gives you the date and the time and it gives you some seconds to pull the trigger and lock it in. And if you're not ready, it's gone. It is. That, that's how it's it that is. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. I, I hope that that gives your, not that you suffer from an empty calendar, but. <laughs> <laughs> it goes pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Click on the hypnosis and then, um, I keep saying this wrong, the hypnosis and then the newsletter uh, tab mm -hmm. and sign up for the newsletter. It comes out once a month, like he says. And yes, I will tell you where I'm going to be traveling to next. But, you know, one of the things that we were speaking about before is there's a lot of people out there looking for spiritual connection. And this is why I'm doing these gatherings all around the world, actually. So if you get to go there, it's just great to be with a bunch of people that can talk your language. And, and part of my question now at the end was like, uh, of all these people that, that do this and get the experience to, to understand a little bit more, and now you have this uh, sense of the things that you want to do, but what, how, what else? So how do we connect? How do mm. I, and that's what Alva said. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying yeah. to connect all of these people who have something similar, which is you're watching me, so at least you're all on the same page. Yeah. We, and like here, you come without a plan and the plan just It just births. happens, yeah. yeah. So those meetings, I have never been, but I can imagine that it just... Each mm -hmm. one is different. Yeah. Each gathering is different. There's like no agenda to it. We do do some exercises, but really it's being together. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's awesome. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a trip. It was I loved awesome. It. Thank you so much. <laughs> you. You're welcome. You're welcome.